Why do we all make the same ugly face when we're putting on eyeliner or mascara? Like, <laughs> why do we make the same look? channel my name is Gina Janine I like to think of myself as your thick best friend if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for all the love all the support and thank you so much for always tuning into my videos if you are new if you like what you see in today's video please hit the like button hit that subscribe button and I do post videos two to three times a week mainly vlogs a lot of fashion hair videos a little bit of this a little bit of that all right guys, so today's video is sponsored by Don Millie Hair. So this is how I'm starting off with just my hair in two little braids. Um, I'll get it all prepared for my wig, but this is the wig that I will be styling in today's video. All the details will be down below in the description box as usual. This is a headband wig and it is 24 inches. I'm not sure what type of curl pattern it is, but it's really pretty, shiny. Like I said, everything will be listed down below as well as a coupon code so y'all can save some money, okay? But we are, we're gonna style this. We're gonna put on some makeup. We're gonna get dressed and we're gonna have a little talk, a little chit chat, a little powwow as some people like to call it. Jackie Christie from Basketball Wives, she calls it a ponderosa. We everybody, we all just have a, a open conversation. But let me not forget, with your wig, you do get a wig cap. They also sent me two headbands. I'll probably wear my own headband around it. I might show y'all how these look, but we get two headbands. Um, and yeah, let's get this party started. I know y'all are just so ready to get into the video, what I gotta talk about. But we are gonna start styling this hair first, okay? We gotta do a little style, we gotta, we gotta do the housekeeping stuff before we just get all into it. Now with these headband wigs, you can always cover up your forehead. You do not have to have any of your hair showing. You don't have to do your baby hairs if you don't want to. I normally do. My, I do have a big forehead as you guys can see. Some of y'all be in the comments like, Jenny, your forehead is a normal size. I'm like, girl, normal where? Normal to who? <laughs> normal to an alien? I, I mean, cause this forehead is huge. You can definitely place your uh, headband wig to where it covers up your whole forehead and it still looks cute. So I'm just doing these little baby hairs, but I actually might just keep my forehead covered up. I really haven't decided yet. Nothing spectacular. I'm actually doing them kind of ugly. I don't know. Why are they looking like that? Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Oh. Hold on. Okay, maybe I need to bring some down with a comb or something. When you don't have real baby hairs, you gotta finesse it. You gotta make them. Oh look, cause I'm like, these are like transparent. I can't even see them. Where, where, where the hair ass is? Okay, that's a little bit better. I see a little bit. And if y'all didn't know, I am 100% natural. I have not had any perm, dye, anything in my hair in about oof, five years, six years, about six years. I haven't had any heat on my natural hair in about probably four years. We got a little bit of baby hair going on, baby hair. This ain't even baby, this edges brush down. But um, this is how your wig, it has Velcro straps. So literally all you gotta do is just toss it on your head. That is it. Let me adjust the end. The, you do have inside adjustable straps. So you can make it tight to fit your head. What am I doing? Let me put on my wig grip. Oops, I'm missing an unimportant step. I always use a wig grip, y'all. It just, it's just a little bit more support with wigs when you don't glue your wig down. This is from Amazon. I can link it down below. It has got to be this brand. It has to be this brand. 
try to buy the little cheapy cheap one from aliexpress or from your local beauty supply it's not gonna hold your wig in place trust me i've done it and i've tried it does not work it has to be this brand okay let me stop talking so much and put this wig on headband wigs are just so easy i love them i love easiness i love anything that makes my life simple and i just bring it behind my ear at this point, you can really flip your hair forward to Velcro it. All right, it's on. Okay, this is how it looks. This is with no ma manipulation to it, no finger combing, no products, nothing. And I mean, honestly, you can wear it just like this if you wanted to. This is the length on me, even though this is 24 inches, because the curls are so tight, it hits just right here at the top of my chest. I think it's a good length. I like this length. All right, so I'm going to finish my hair off after I do my makeup. I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on. We're gonna chat. And then I'm going to finish styling this hair. All right, y'all, so today's video topic is unpopular opinions. If you don't know what unpopular opinions are, it's basically um, my opinion is opposite of what the the majority of the population or the majority of people in my age group or the majority of people in my race or you know it's basically going against the grain you're not agreeing with it you have your own opposite opinion of it that is what unpopular opinions is and oh my god am i out of am i out of it there you go shoot Oh God. Okay, I think that's like all she wrote. Okay, a little bit more coming up. Now, now I didn't put too much on my face. Anyway, okay, so unpopular opinions. I have a list of them. If you guys don't agree with it, that's cool. That's what makes the world a great place. We can all have different opinions, but if you come in my comments being rude, being disrespectful, saying some crazy off the wall stuff, then I, I'm gonna block you. That's just point blank period, cause this is my page. This is my YouTube. You don't have to agree with me. You can politely say your opinion without being rude. Okay, that's just a little housekeeping, uh, FYI. All right, my first unpopular opinion, mayonnaise is amazing. Oh my God. Most black people do not like mayonnaise from what I've been told, but mayonnaise is amazing. Please, extra mayonnaise on that burger. Extra mayonnaise on that chicken sandwich. I might even mix a little mayonnaise and ketchup together and eat it on my french fries. I love mayonnaise. Give me all the white creamy sauce. Pause. <laughs> but, yep, I love mayonnaise. So many people that I know hate it and I just don't understand why. And the best brand of mayonnaise for sandwiches, oh my God, is Hellman's. Hellman's tastes so good. Oh, give me all the Hellman's. <laughs> but I mainly only buy Miracle Whip because it's so much less calories and fat. But um, Hellman's is amazing. Next unpopular opinion, and these are all randomly. They're all just random different topics. Next unpopular opinion is men don't take us girls with fake bodies serious. They just don't. Um, they always think that we're gold diggers. They always think that uh, we're looking for a come up. They always, you know, think that we have a bunch of dudes that we deal with at the same time. We got a sugar daddy. We got a little young boy. We got one that pays our bills. We got one that we just like to talk to and kiki with. We got one that takes us out to eat every week. You know, they don't take us serious because they think we just have so many men at our disposal and that we're going to cheat on them, that we just have too much attention on us. So, Girls with natural bodies, y'all know y'all might look at us like, oh my God, I wish I had that, I want that. Da, da, da. Men don't take us serious. They don't, period. <laughs> like, they, they do not. We are looked at as arm candy, and that is it. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not telling y'all the brands of the makeup, exactly what I'm doing, because like I always tell y'all, always tell y'all in videos like this, I'm not a makeup girl. 
not a makeup girl. I don't know really what I'm doing. I just know what looks cute and fits my face and my skin tone and what I'm comfortable doing. But there's always gonna be that one or two people on the comments, Gina, Gina, what is that? Gina, I love your makeup, Gina. I love the compliment, girl, but I don't know what I'm doing. My makeup routine has not changed in the past two, three years. And I wear the same look no matter the occasion. It's a Saturday afternoon, I'm about to go run some errands with the kids. And if I was to go to the bar later, the lounge later, I would do the same makeup look, okay? Next unpopular opinion. I have a whole list on my phone and I'll probably throw some, some extra ones in there. Next unpopular opinion. Kevin Hart is for white people. He's the white uh, man's comedian. He's not our comedian. Um, he's very cookie cutter. He's very safe with what he says. Um, I went to a Kevin Hart concert. I had third row tickets. I said concert. Well, I guess it is kind of a concert. Had third row tickets and baby, my face was like this the whole time. <clears throat> he's not funny to me. Like he, he's just not, he's extra. He's too silly. Like we need uncut raw like the best, best comedians, Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> oh my God, Cedric the Entertainer. Bernie Mac, Bernie Mac was amazing. I love Bernie Mac. Liddell Crawford, I think that's how you say his name, that big old, big dark skinned dude. Eddie Murphy, of course. Um, old Eddie Murphy, 80s, 90s Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I don't know about this new Eddie Murphy, but 80s, 90s Eddie Murphy. I mean, it's, it's a lot of them, but to me, Kevin Hart, no, he is too, he, he's, he's, he's watered down. I, 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 he ain't funny to me. I don't, uh -uh. Okay, what am I doing? I need to buff this out. Okay, next unpopular opinion, Sean King is our MLK. He is our MLK of this new generation. If you don't know who Sean King is, look him up on Instagram. He fights for us. He fights for everybody, every race, every gender, but he mainly fights for us. He brings attention to so much that we would not have known about. He opens these cases up. He makes sure these police officers get arrested. These, you know, he has just done so much for cases of police brutality, racism, just unfair treatment. Like he has just, he's done a lot. He's hes made a lot of money for these mothers who have lost their um, kids to uh, police brutality. Just all kind of, he's, and he's, he's very hated. A lot of people hate him. If you um, read about MLK, yeah, it, now we look at him as like um, this bigger than life man who just wanted nothing for nothing but goodness and equality for the black community. But back then they did a, um, a study, well, a survey and they interviewed black people and they said, do you, are, do you like MLK? Is, and he was like one of the most hated men of his time. Crazy, right? Very crazy, but yeah. Sean King, I love him, I respect him. I love everything that he's doing for us, for the culture, for, you know, period. So, yeah, I feel like he is the digital world's MLK. Okay, next. All of these couples channels are fake. They're fake as fuck. The pranks that they do are fake. They're not funny. It's so staged and you can just tell um, all that them, being loving and loving each other and their soulmates. I mean, look at Deer and Ken. How many times does Ken have to cheat on Deer? But they're a powerhouse on the internet. I really feel like Deera can make it on her own. I would love to see just Deera on her own, making it, vlogging, showing her fashion, because she is like a little mini little fashionista. Um, but yeah, these 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 couples are are just so fake. Also. Look at Carmen and Corey. How many times he gotta cheat on her and embarrass her and then have to come back and try to clean it up and say, oh, them, them girls was just groupies or oh, them girls forced me to do that or whatever, you know. 
they they all stay together for the money. Like that's what it is. Y'all making all this money together. Y'all are young. You know, probably don't have no other skill or trade or anything to, you know. I just feel like they do it for the money. They do it for the clout. And it's so fake. The relationships are fake. The um, this pranks are fake. And I just, I, I just, ew. Ew. Side chicks are winning. Side chicks are winning. They get the benefits of wifey without having to deal with all the wifey drama. They don't have to cook dinner for you every night. They don't have to be at your back and call. They don't have to worry about finances with you. They don't have to raise the kids with you. They get all the gifts. They get all the perks. They get the D. They get the fl of being flown out. They get all of the luxury, wonderful side of it without the stress. Because they're not being cheated on. They're, you know, so they don't have to worry about anything. Side chicks winning. They've always been winning. And they're going to continue to win. Sad but true. We just got to accept it. Side chicks winning. Now, I don't, now I don't condone being a side chick. I, I don't. But, and, and where are we living in? They, they, they winning. <laughs> they just are. They get the perks without the stress, so I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot me. What I need to do next? These brows. All right, what's up? What else is on my list? Oh, that body positivity BS is so fake. All these big girls. Yeah, I'm gonna call y'all big because I'm a big girl myself. I am 200 plus, so I'm in your category. But body positivity is fake. All these big girls that do these fashion channels, beauty channels. I'm body positive. I'm body positive. I let my, my belly hang out. I'm okay with um, my breasts that sag down to my knees. I'm okay with my three chins. I'm okay with this, this, and this. I'm okay wearing a size 28 in jeans. You're not happy. You're not. So, I mean, stop with this. the body positivity. Stop saying it's, it's okay. Um, we're united and we're, we're, no, you're, you're, you're not happy, honey. You're not, you would definitely be happier at 180 pounds instead of 280 pounds. That's just plain blank period. <laughs> you can't tell me any difference because I've been on both sides of the spectrum. I have been 240 pounds and I have been 160 pounds. Right now I'm sitting at 220 and I wish I was about 180, 190. This is me saying that after I've had surgery. I've had my whole body done and I, I wish I was smaller. Like I am not, I'm not as happy at 220 pounds as I was at 180. So all that body, body positivity nonsense, y'all stop selling that dream, influencers. Big girls, like stop selling that dream. You know you, you know you wish you could lose some pounds. Okay, let do the bra. All right, next one. Pepsi's better than Coke. It just is. Pepsi's better than Coke. RC Cola is better than Coke. But Pepsi, Pepsi's better than Coke. I don't know why Coke is like the number one soft drink um, flavor brand, whatever. There is because, oh my God, Pepsi tastes so much better. I don't drink sodas like that, but when I do, when I do drink a regular soda, it's Pepsi. Now, if I do drink a Coke, it's gonna be a Coke Zero. But Pepsi is better than Coke, in my opinion. And I think all fast food places should sell Pepsi. I think the only ones right now that have Pepsi are what, Taco Bell? I don't know of any other ones, I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah. Next. Beyonce had a BBL. Beyonce got her body done. And I don't want the beehive coming for me because I am part of the beehive. I stand Beyonce. She's from H-Town. That is my sis. Like, she was raised right up the street from me. Like, yeah, we literally could have been classmates. Like, that could have been my dog. <laughs> but anyway, she had a BBL. And ain't nothing wrong with it. 
she wanted to fix something on her body. So she snatched her waist and she got a BBL. I don't want people to say it's weight gain. Oh, she's had three kids, so that's what it's from. No, you do not grow hips and a round booty by gaining weight. No, it is just, it's not possible. Your hips do not do bam from gaining 10 or 15 pounds. No, B had a BBL. Very natural looking BBL, but definitely a BBL. You have to stop thinking these celebrities uh, haven't had work done just because we love them so much. We envy them, their body goals. We have got to stop thinking these celebrities have not had work done. Like, honey, these celebrities are getting their noses done. They're getting all types of Botox and filler. Um, they're, they're getting stuff done. I, I mean, I done seen, pe seen people fight tooth and nail saying the Kardashians' bodies are natural. Beyonce's body is natural. These Instagram models, their body is natural. Honey, it's okay. They, they, they get work done. They get work done. They, they, they try to probably get it more natural than like an Instagram vixen. But these big celebrities, actresses, singers, they've had work done. Look at SZA. SZA done got a chin implant. She done got her nose done. She done, I think she had got like her freckles and moles removed. Um, it looks like she's had like her eyes slightly lifted. But y'all gonna say no, she just grew up and grew into her looks. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all believe what y'all want to. Black folks. Pecan pie is nasty. Pecan pie is nasty. I, I can't do it. I, I do not like pecan pie. I don't like butter pecan ice cream. I could do a little bit of lemon cake, but I, I really am not a fan of lemon cake. All the desserts that black people just love, I really don't like. <laughs> black people's favorite ice cream is usually always butter pecan, and I cannot stand it. That is disgusting. That is the last ice cream on my list. Out of every ice cream flavor that there is, butter pecan is dead last. Like, dead last. I eat some pistachio ice cream before I eat some butter pecan ice cream. Just real talk. Pecan pie, y'all can keep it. I'll take sweet potato pie all day long. And it's weird, my sister, she, she doesn't like fried chicken and she doesn't like watermelon, which are like two other things, which is, it's stereotypical. But it's two other things that most black people love and she doesn't like. So people think I'm crazy when I say I don't eat pecan pie and butter pecan, butter pecan ice cream. They literally look at me like I got doodle on my face <laughs> when I say that. But I don't like it, never have. I don't think I ever will. Somebody in the comments gonna be like, well, you ain't taste my pecan pie. Well, girl, I don't want to. I don't wanna taste your pecan pie because I don't like pecan pie. And I just, I don't think you are gonna convince me otherwise even if your granny made it and she won an award for back in 1965 like mm -mm. no thanks all right next unpopular opinion i don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not this might just be the way a lot of people feel but i think all men cheat when presented with the opportunity i think all men cheat now i do not think all men go out seeking to cheat I don't think that at all. There are, of course, a large percentage that probably go out and seek to cheat. But I think when presented with opportunity, all men are going to cheat. Now, it might be a little exception here and there. I don't think Russell Westbrook is gonna be cheating. <laughs> I don't know. There is a T page that I follow. I'm gonna have to find it. But they said that he he has a side chick and she has receipts and she doesn't she doesn't want to uh, put him out there. She just swears she has receipts on Russell that he's been cheating on Sierra. I don't know. I don't know. We can't think that these celebrity couples are just perfect. I mean, cause look at Quavo and Sweetie. They were like couple goals and he cheated. We look at so many of these couples, I mean, just like Jay-Z and Beyonce. When we found out that he cheated on her, we were like, oh my God. Jay-Z cheated, Beyonce got cheated on? B? Yeah, Beyonce got cheated on. 
the most beautiful woman in the world gets cheated on. Halle Berry, it seems like she's always getting cheated on her relationships. J-Lo, like the most beautiful woman in the world gets cheated on. All men cheat when presented with the opportunity. Do you really think a man that is looked at as uh, just above, like, just like the perfect guy, and uh, somebody beautiful that y'all all know. Bernice Burgos, she's an Instagram model. I'll pop a picture of her. Um, Bernice Burgos, yeah. You think if he was alone in a room with her for 24, 48 hours and she was naked throwing herself at him, do you think he wouldn't cheat? Do you think if Rihanna slid in your boyfriend's deal, he said she was about to be in town for the night and wanted a piece of him? You don't think your man's gonna cheat on you? It ain't even gotta be Rihanna in his DM. It could just be the cute, the cute chick from your city. You know, men are gonna cheat when they presented with the opportunity and they feel like they can get away with it. Yeah, but I do not think all men will seek it out. So, just my opinion, my, my opinion. Okay, next. What am I doing next on my face? Like I said, I'm just running errands, so I'm not, I don't wanna do like too, too much. Next, being an influencer, YouTuber, influencer, whatever you wanna call it, social media presence is easier than having a nine to five. I've heard so many influencers get on this platform and lie and say it's so much harder than clocking into a job. We're working 24 seven, it's so stressful. I need a mental break and it's so hard. Y'all don't understand. Bitch, put line. Being an influencer is so much easier than nine to five. I have both. I have a full-time job and I am a full-time, I have two full-time jobs. And this one doing YouTube is easier. Yes, it is. The money is better and it's easier. So let me just give you an example. Let's say this company wants to work with you. They gonna email you. I'm, I don't even know about the management side of it because I don't have a manager. I answer all my emails myself. I negotiate all my pay myself. I do everything myself. So I haven't made it up the totem pole yet. Maybe these big influencers like Jackie Ina or who's somebody big? Um, Aaliyah J. Maybe they do get stressed out and it's harder. But somebody like me who get so many opportunities, I get a lot. I get, I, I get a lot of work offered to me. It is easier. A lot of these companies, some have deadlines, some don't. So if you send me, let's say some hair, I'm like, okay, cool. This is the amount I want. It will be in my vlog somewhere and I'm gonna record it for, it's gonna be a five minute clip, cool. First of all, my hair, the hair I get is free. This is like three, four hundred dollar hair. It's free. Then I just have to make a five minute clip of me installing the hair. Of course, I would have bleached the knots and whatever to the hair beforehand, which is simple. But you're paying me this amount to just put on a wig or to just promote your perfume or to just try these clothes on that, that I'm getting for free that I would have had to pay a bunch of money for and upload it. So I'm getting free products. I'm getting paid for these products from the company. I'm getting paid from YouTube because I posted a video. And then if I decide to uh, resell these clothes, like on Poshmark or Mercari or whatever, I'm making 100% profit off of it. Please tell me where that's harder than a nine to five. Somebody breathing down your neck saying, Gina, don't be on your phone. Gina, what took you so long on your lunch break? No, Gina, you can't have that day off to go out of town. Gina, you're sick. Oh, you don't think you can come in? You sure you're not sick? Oh, Gina, you are five minutes late to work? I'm, I'm giving you a written warning. Baby, I can just go on and on. I just hate when influencers get on here and lie and say, being an influencer is harder than clocking into a nine to five. No, ma'am, it's not. Please show me where. Where? That just grinds my gears. When people, people lie to y'all, I, I, I would never lie to my besties. Like, y'all, my family, I love y'all. 
I'm, I'm just not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it just all the way funky, all the way 100. All right, where we at on this list? Oh! Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. Crab legs are overrated. Seafood boils are overrated. Y'all girls always want, let's go for crab legs. Let's go for a seafood boil. That shit is overrated. Who wants to just work for their food? Like, I, me, me, I don't want to work for my food. Give me some lamb chops, some, uh, some steak, potatoes, a cheeseburger, uh, a salad. Please give me something easy that I, as soon as y'all put it in front of me, I can just get to town and start eating. I don't wanna have to get no scissors, no little claws to crack open a shell, peel, peel a shell off of a shrimp, devein it. I don't wanna have to do all that. Like, I don't like working for my food. It's overrated, I think, just because I don't know like I, I don't know why it has just gotten so crazy popular within the past like five years i gotta go for crab legs i gotta eat crab legs like i i don't know i, I really don't <laughs> it's, it's, it's overrated to me i i y'all would never hear me saying i have to go for crawfish i have to go for shrimp you know crawfish is a southern thing but i have to go for crab legs it's overrated, girl. Come on now, like. This next one, don't come for me. Do not come for me. Because some of y'all have probably done this before, okay? I would never. <laughs> but putting a picture of you breastfeeding on social media is such an attention-seeking post. Like, why would you put yourself with your breast out when you can almost kind of see your areola? baby suckling why what is the point somebody's gonna say oh shit somebody's gonna say it's natural it's feeding the baby it's giving nourishment to the baby yeah it definitely is it's definitely natural it's definitely you feeding the baby 100 percent, i agree with you girl but why post it on the gram you have been wanting to put your titty on social media like you've been wanting to do that now you have a reason why you, that's just something you've always wanted to do. You posing nude for your um, your pregnancy pictures. Why do women pose nude for pregnancy pictures? Like, I don't understand that. What's the point of you posing nude? You showing the side of your breast. You showing the, 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 the your little butt crack. Like, I don't understand that. I think this is just something that y'all wanted to do. You've wanted to show your body on social media. So now you have an excuse and you can blame it on, oh, I'm just showing being a mother is so beautiful. There's so much other natural things. Burping is natural. Vomiting is natural. Taking a shit is natural. You're not gonna show that on social media. You gonna show your uh your STD uh screening from your doctor? You, you gonna show that on social media too? Why show your breasts? Why show that? Like why? Why? I don't understand. Why? There's so many other. Show your natural hair. Why do we all make the same ugly face when we're putting on eyeliner or mascara? Like, <laughs> why do we make the same little, why does our face have to like contract and like, <laughs> cause what is this doing? It's not doing anything. <laughs> I'm weird y'all. Do not mind me. I be thinking of like the most random stuff. See, I could put it on, I, I got a straight face. I could put on just as good. But for some reason, though, it makes it go on a little bit better in my mind. All right, next, we winding this thing on down. We are finishing up. Um, let's see. Working overtime is not bossing up. Working overtime is not being bossed up. Working overtime is not gonna put you in a financial situation to where you will have financial freedom. Um, I it, it makes me sad when I hear say that they have to work overtime to really feel comfortable with 
you know, financially with what they're doing. To me, that's not bossing up. You're, you're, you have less time for yourself. You have less time for your spouse if you're married. You have less time for your kids. You have less time to, to just take care of stuff. Like you're working, you're already working 40 hours a week, which is a lot. Then on top of that, you want to work an additional four hours a day, three hours a day. You want to bring in 50, 60 hour paychecks. That is not boss enough to me. That is bondage. Like that is not like that does not sound good to me at all. I, I you know, I just really feel like everybody should have some type of side hustle to where they're not clocking in making the next man rich whether it's selling lashes um selling body oils selling clothes out your closet that's actually fun fact that's what i started out doing years ago i started um thrifting this was back when oh my god true religions were really popular and I would go to Goodwill, I would buy the True Religions for like $30, $40. Yes, they were that expensive inside the Goodwill. And then I would resell them on eBay for like 90, 100 plus dollars. Because back then True Religions were like $350 for a pair of jeans. I don't know how much they cost now. But anyway, that was my side hustle. I did that all the time. My eBay was popping. But I think everybody should have some type of side hustle that benefits them that is on the entrepreneur aspect. Cause you working yourself to death at a job to where you are away from your family, away from you being able to work out and go out to eat with your girls or go shopping, just have self-care days, self, you know, I just, I just don't think that's bossing up. And I don't think that that's something to brag about. Cause to me, when I hear somebody like, oh my God, I got a 60 hour, 120 hour paycheck or whatever it is, you know, I just, to me, it's like sad. Like I, I'm, that's not bossing up to me. That's not, that's not, it's not, so. Derek Jackson is an idiot and his wife is a bigger idiot. She's an idiot for getting on Instagram, holding his hand, staying, because clearly this isn't the first time. This is just the first time it's been public. Um, she's an idiot. And I think that she's gonna stay with him. She's going to be so unhappy. And she's gonna just say, well, God said we need to be together. God this, God that, in the Bible this, in the Bible that, religious aspect of it this. That. Baby, you can't just bring it all back to like scripture. Like you, just, you cannot. If a man is blatantly cheating on you, just being disrespectful, and had affairs in your marital bed, baby, you can't just say, oh, well, with the power of prayer, we're getting through this. You look like a fool. And I'm sure all your friends and family are so embarrassed. But I think Derek Jackson is done. Y'all better cancel him and keep him canceled. He cannot come back from this. Y'all cannot keep buying his books, seminars, whatever it is. I had never heard of him since before this scandal. I'm just like, I'm, I don't be on, I be on social media because I post on social media, but like, I don't know. Just like when I told y'all, I didn't know who Unwind with Tasha K was until about two weeks ago. Y'all were like, how you just found out about her, Gina How? I just did, I don't be, I don't just be like that, following new people. I had never heard of him until his scandal broke. And FYI, she's the one who broke the scandal. But um, yeah, like y'all cannot just be looking social media people and just thinking that their word is gold and oh my god he is the perfect man and this and that and he can't come back from this y'all don't let him come back a month from now he's hiding now it's been about a month don't let him come back in may or june and then y'all are back loving this man again saying like oh we forgive him he's human it was a mistake no keep him canceled ladies because ladies y'all are the ones who got this man popular men hated him supposedly like I said, I just hearing about this man, but men hated him. Y'all women are the ones who put this man on the map and made him a millionaire. But anyway. <laughs> okay, all right, so my makeup is done. I'm gonna put some lip gloss on, of course. Mm. Let me just put a little bit on now. This is some Fenty Fussy. If I was going out, out, I would line my lips. 
like I said, we just going to run here. That's it. It's hot outside. I don't want to even just do too much. I really didn't want to put any makeup on, but I'm like, let me just not look so barefaced. I haven't worn makeup in a week. So I'm like, let me just put a little bit of something on. All right, so I am going to finger comb this hair. I like breaking up the curls in hair like this. This is how the hair looks. Now, finger combed out. The waves are broken up. Super cute. If you love this big hair, that's cute. That's how it looks. But your girl's about to put some product in it. Always just gotta tame it down just a little bit. I mean, you don't have to worry about gluing nothing down. You don't have to worry about your edges. Like literally, you don't have to do these little baby hairs and it'll still look cute. This is an easy gym wig, running errands wig, work wig. Y'all know I, I love a good work wig. I just get my hair nice and wet, saturated. This is the mousse that I use. I use any type of mousse. I'll use some dollar store mousse to be honest with you. This is just the mousse that I ha I'm using right now. It's the mousse that I'm using. And I put this in the hair. You use your mousse, it will keep the wet look of the hair all day. Y'all, I found some cute stuff at Dee Dee's yesterday. Oh my God. I was shocked. I went on a Dee Dee's tour. I do that like every couple months where I go to like all the Dee Dee's in my area. There's five Dee Dee's like within a 10 mile radius of my house. And I'll just go on a Dee Dee's tour. I will just spend the whole day going to different Dee Dee's. And that's what I did yesterday. I found so much stuff. So I do have on, the vlog should probably come out before probably after this the vlog is probably gonna come out after this y'all just be on the lookout for that i did a little try on how i did a little you know showed y'all what i got prices and all that dd's Dee is the jam dd's Dee got all the hidden gems like all right i'm gonna put some oil in my hair this is the oil that i'm using urban hydration i love love this uh line i always find it at um tj maxx and marshall's and that's where I bought all my hair care stuff from. TJ Maxx and Marshalls, you will find all the black owned hair brands there. You'll find all of those expensive beauty store uh, brands, even high-end brands for Lolo, like cheap, cheap. This is what we looking like. This is how the hair looks with product in it. Look how juicy that looks. Look at that, that's juicy. Mm. That is a juicy hair. Mm. Love it. So cute, so easy. You will just be out the door. Like I told you guys, you can just leave this black headband on, but you know I gotta be extra. So I'm not just leaving this black headband on. I'm putting on my Louis scarf. Put my Louis scarf around it. You can put any scarf you want. Or you can just use a headband. Whatever you want, sis, do it. So I just make it to where it's gonna camouflage the black part. See? How cute! Now I have seen reviews where you can do these headband wigs like in all different kind of styles. Um, some girls will pull it up literally into like a bun on top of their head. You can put it in a bun. You just have like a little messy bun on top of your hair. See, that's cute. You see the, you, you, you see the vision. You definitely see the vision. I've seen some girls wear it in a ponytail, up in a ponytail and then down. See if I had just a clip right here and it was in a ponytail and down, that's cute. Hold on. Hello? I don't know when you posted that video. You guys, make sure to check out Don Millie Hair for your easy breezy unit. Like I said, coupon code down below. 
coupon code down below. Website down below, link to everything. This is just cute. This, like, this is just cute, simple vacation hair. You can really just do anything with this hair. I, I wouldn't consider this like going out hair because I need my slayage, but just cute, simple. All right, let me get dressed. Let me get dressed, let me see. Head into this dungeon and see what I'm about to wear. Okay, so this is the outfit that I picked out. Ashton, why is your phone in my room? Just a cropped t-shirt that I got from Target. I love these and they're only $5. Oh my God, I love them so much. Then my Louis Vuitton favorite and some Joni jeans. I don't know which pair I'm gonna wear. I got two pairs sitting here. So these Joni jeans and then these are some shoes I just picked up yesterday from Dee Dee's. Look how cute they are. Look at that shade of brown with the big studs. I usually see sandals with small studs. I got big studs on them. Then this layered chain necklace. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Layered chain necklace that I got from Forever 21 on clearance. And the earrings and bracelets that I'm wearing are from Styles by Cleo. Check her out on Instagram. She has so many cute accessories. Black owned business, small business. Y'all make sure to support her. This is so cute. I love this whole jewelry look. But um, yeah, this is what I'm about to wear. Hopefully it comes out cute. Hopefully the vision is gonna come to life. <laughs> okay, so the fragrance that I'm wearing is the Louis Vuitton Cactus Garden. So. I ain't gonna buy it, but I'm definitely gonna wear the uh, the fragrance, <laughs> the sample. And I spray my perfume very liberally. I don't do the two, three squirts. Mm -mm. I spray it, I spray a lot. All right, so let me show you guys the outfit, the finished look. Put my purse on. All right, so this is the finished look, guys. Outfit looks cute, comfy. I might not keep this purse, I don't know. I might wear my mom purse, which is my big old Louis Vuitton that I always wear. But anyway, this is how it looks, super cute. The hair turned out so good. It goes perfect with my little, my little chill Saturday outfit. Y'all make sure to check out Don Millie Hair if you want this bomb unit. Like I said, don't skip the description box. If you are new here and you like today's video, please, please, please subscribe. Become one of my besties. Join the family. I would love to have you. And yeah, I'm about to get my day started. So my evening, whatever. We ain't gonna be gone in long. But like I said, thank you so much to Don Millie Hair for sponsoring today's video. And y'all, make sure to check me out on the next one. Bye.